Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are now back into the realm of shipping lanes. And last time, we got this. This cheap little thing. This rubbish little trash. <coughs> and so... Oh, you could have flags. Uh, cars game pass. Let's sell this trash for 994,000. And so now I have 6 million. So I could either go for um, this one, which makes 152,000 for a nautical mile, or the Cape size. 151,000, so, um, Panamax as it is. The Panamax it is. Um, let's get a, a long boy, because he is long. Panamax is long. I'm gonna call long boy. I have a million left. <clears throat> so, here, yeah. Play long boy. Long boy will be visiting New Haven. Um, let's see how massive it is. It is massive. Okay. I think it's even longer than the. Uh, what do you call that? The Afro Max Long Tanker. Look at all these cargo spots. Look at all of them. So this is the brief ship tour. Oh, you actually have to go down. Wait, then how to go up? Interesting. So this is the brief ship tour. You run around here. That side is the same. And unlike the large container, in the back side over here where there's more cargo, it isn't levitating. It isn't in the air. There's like a, you know, you, you saw what I mean. And this is more ropes, more cables, more stairs. There's a long boy. Ooh, my name's glowing. Long boy. And over there, you, you see. Uh, 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 oh, my name is not glowing. I thought my name was glowing for a second there. And the ship goes 22 knots. Maximum speed, 100% throttle. Oh, don't cry. Uh oh. Something bad is gonna happen. I'm gonna take damage. I'm not. No, 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 no. Don't back up. And then, let's see. Um, how many containers can I load up? 1022. So, Devonport, 102, a million dollars. A million dollars for a five million ship. So, you, you, you need. Five turns to fully recover the price of the ship. You, you get what I mean. Um, it's, it's still better than the Aframax. Like, come on, the Aframax. Aframax oil makes, like, a hundred thousand dollars. No, five hundred thousand. No, it was four hundred thousand. It makes four hundred thousand dollars minus the loading fee. Four hundred thousand. So the actual money you get is four hundred. Um, yeah. 
and this even though it's very no 2.5 million dollars more expensive that means twice as more expensive it earns twice as more, much no a little bit more than twice two yeah which is all right it's better than bulk at least it makes a thousand dollars more than the bulk so if 10 miles we yeah, earn 10,000 more it's pretty nice um, yeah it's fast too so what's the next ship what will the next ship be should I give another chance or should I give oil another chance or should I go for the gas carrier Hmm. Now, from what I know, the Q Max LNG gas carrier makes 2.45 million dollars, which is nearly as much as the E class. The E class also makes two to three million, right? Yeah. So Q Max is good. Or should I go for the? Now the CYS is four million dollars cheaper, but I don't know how much this CYS earns. Um, sh you know what? I'm gonna save up for the QMAX. No, the uh, what you call that? The LNG gas carrier, like the cheaper version, the 18 million version. And then I am going after that. I'm gonna save up for. looking at a fellow pilot. I'm gonna save up for um C wise. Then after C wise skip E class directly for the Cause E class earns as much as the Q Max and what's the point? If it's like flipping um twenty twenty three million is it? Is it twenty three million? No it's not twenty three million. Then let's see. Ha, ah, I need my calculator for that. My maths are horrible. Let's see, um, triple E, no, E cost 19 million. And the Q Max is 37 million, right? So it's 53 million cheaper. Now, what's the point of 53 million? More expensive, and you earn nearly as much as the same. So, Directly triple E. I'm going for directly triple E. Um, yeah. This goes through the canal perfectly. Unlike the Aframax. I, um, it's off camera. I did it off camera, but it's kind of tight for the Aframax. Um, yeah, that's basically. It's, there's still no M key for now. Hope they add it soon. Fuel, not good. I gotta say, fuel... In the fuel situation, the yeah, FMX is definitely better. Like, from Davenport to Norfolk, the FMX uses, like, nearly this much. Probably a little lower. Probably the bar is a little lower. But I think by the time we reach Davenport with this ship, it'll be over here. And the Aframax from Davenport to New Haven is like right over here. And the sun is setting. And that will be my thumbnail. <laughs> yep. That's my thumbnail right there. And night time. Time has arrived. All right, so we head into the straight right over there. Twenty-two knots. So probably takes fifteen minutes with twenty-two knots. Fifteen minutes, I think. And I saw the triple E go seventeen point. Or is it 17 knots? It's pretty slow. But I remember the real life triple E goes okay, 
speed. Let's search it up. How fast does the real life triple E go? Triple E go. Um, let's see, how fast doesn't give me anything? Uh, what is the maximum speed? Let's search what is the maximum speed. What is the maximum speed? Twenty three knots. See, the Triple E is designed for a top speed of 23 knots. Compared to Emma Maersk's top speed of 25 knots, the tiny difference in maximum speed. Blah 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 blah. The tiny difference in maximum speed, that means 2 knots difference, lowers the efficiency to 19%, right? No, lowers the power output needed for from the engine by 19%. Wow, okay. It's only two knots difference, and you can <laughs> lower the, the energy intake by 19%. That's a lot. But, yeah, this game... Uh, I can understand why the devs did this, but... You know, I think increasing the speed to 23, maybe even 25 will be better. Like, if it's 20, nah, um, they could do this. It's 25 knots and you arrive at New Haven, the bar is nearly non-existent. But it's 23, the bar probably until here. Oh, man, that, that, looks, that would look cool, that would sound like that. awesome. Got some ideas for you, you better listen to them. If you're watching, ah, I don't think they're watching. So, um, this ship, a million dollar per turn. It's alright, quite alright. Um, fuel. Nearly half tank. There's actually not much people. Where are all those people? One in. Oh, never mind. There's one near me. Rockfall. Anymore? Two near Devon. One near New. A uh, two near Newport. One side Long Island, and one just apart from, from New Haven. Okay. What's it? Okay, so there's flags game pass for 40 Robux. I just noticed there's a flag game pass, or, or did I? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so, but, um, yeah, cool. There are now lights under here. There are lights under here now, that's cool. Better than <coughs> DSS. There's no light. Well, even though there is a map, so. This is better. No, no, no. Not this is better. This is. Um. This benefit is <laughs> you don't need to carry a lamp around. Well, there are no tools in this game, actually. It would be cool if you could, like, deploy a life draft or something. I said it before, right? It would be cool if you could deploy a life raft or something. I see another fellow, um... Uh-oh. Let's see, where are you going, where are you going? Okay, I'll stay on this side. We are about two miles, three miles off of Devon. Devon. Whatever. Hijack. Uh, probably too late. It's too late for a hijack. You see, we are 
are going way too fast for the hijack. Oops. Okay. So, I am now over here. I was supposed to get down. Oh, wait. Now I'm through the wall. Yay! Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Whew. Uh, it'll be cool if the names go away. It'll be cool if the names are neon material. And on the side here is a neon material. It'll be cool. Seriously, it will be super cool. So we're now arriving at Devonport. We are nearly heading in. So, um, I'm scared that it'll call me on it. So I'm gonna go through a safe path, which is over here. There are two boys, boys, I don't know what they call, on both sides, one green, one red. Should I talk over there? Or should I talk over here? Let's talk over here. Is it faster? I don't know. Actually, there's a little point over there I could go through. I think, I hope. Even if I can't, I could just back out of it, right? <laughs> Probably not, but when you're stuck, you're stuck, you can't back out of anything. But, um, Rifted for a Biscuit. Yeah, you see, the fuel is already more than halfway down. Let's see how much it takes, how much money it costs. To refuel this bad boy. <coughs> uh oh. Tonk our horn, then crash into me. I bet you regret getting this. It's so bad. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. A crash is about to happen. Okay. It did, it did. And zero throttle. Dock and yep, yeah, there we go. Is the docking speed the same or does it take longer? I feel like it takes longer. Right. So one one point oh four two million in the bank. But loading speed is definitely, definitely a lot different. Oh, it's one row, one row. Well, yeah, because all those of it, each container, each container, it will take like ages. So, um, refuel 985 tons. Okay, seventy nine thousand dollars for a refuel. Not that bad, but not the best. Yeah, it's not the best. So, um, E class, you see? No, actually, wait, no. 555,000. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I was comparing this to the Pan Max for a second there. Mm, yeah. There's 741. Actually, it's only a $200,000 difference. Well, if it's 10 miles, then it's a $2 million difference. So. Yep. And gas carrier. I'll use this one. It goes 18.5. Now, let's have this. 17.5. I'll just see why. 16.5. 48 tons per nautical mile. 46. Oh, wait. Now, now that I think about it. I don't know if I should go for the QMAX or the CUIs. Huh. Now there's a 14 mil VLOC, which has 318,000 per nautical mile. 
So that's like three million dollars if it's using ten miles. Three million dollars for ten miles. Or I could go for the VLCC. No, no, the ULCC. Not the VLCC, ULCC. 70 knots, 40 tons per nautical mile. There's this, 18.5 and 32 tons per nautical mile. Hmm, it's hard to choose here. So either bulk oil or gas, I don't know. I'm, I kind of want to use the gas for the later grind. I don't know, I'll, I'll think for a bit later, and um, you'll see what ship I use for the next video. And this will be it for today, and thank you for watching, goodbye.